I mean, there's a, I think there's a lot of merit in the 3D scanning. I mean, it's, it, as you rightly say, it's come on so quickly over the past few years and the tolerance is available to essentially prosumer, even, you know, consumer stuff is so good now that it almost seems churlish not to try that. Having said that, an awful lot of time is spent in scanning. An awful lot of prep is spent in scanning. It's not a straightforward process. It's not just waving a wand at it. And then you've got to convert that into Fusion or whatever software you're using. And then you've got to be able to break that down into sections. And then you've got to be able to design the things that you want to put in there to see if they'll fit in the first place. And I know that Nick especially is very fond of just getting on with it because like, you just stick the engine next to the car and see if you can do it. Because by the time you've managed to scan it and bugger around with it and then clean it off and then put it all back together again and then and then stick it in fusion and do all the bits and bits. We could have literally just put the engine in and made a frame up and put the front on it. 